Hey everybody, it's your girl Angie. Welcome back to Kiss My Cheeks TV. I am sitting in the car. Can you see? I'm sitting outside of LA Fitness waiting on Aquafit. I got about 30 minutes before class starts and I can go in, change, put on my swimsuit, all that good stuff. Meeting one of my homegirls up here today, ready for a good workout. Okay, real quick, I wanted to talk about my homegirl, Wendy Williams. She is steadily opening her mouth, putting her foot in it, and getting dragged all over social media. Like, Wendy just last week was apologizing. Just this week. She was just apologizing for telling the men to stop wearing our skirts and our heels. <sighs> she always making comments and getting dragged and then wanting to apologize. Now, Wendy, just last week, you were on TV crying, talking about Dwayne Wade's now daughter. What did, what's, what did he want to be called? Is it Zaya? Zaya? I don't know how to pronounce it. But you were on TV crying, talking about this little girl at 12 years old has figured out who she wants to be. And it's grown people that still don't know how to um, know who they are. And you're so proud of her for coming out and saying she wants to be called Zaya. You were just on TV crying. And then what, two days later, you want the men to stay out of your skirts and heels? I'm like, Wendy, you need to get it together. You already apologized for that. And now just yesterday, because I watched the show yesterday, Drew Carey's ex fiance was murdered. Allegedly, she was pushed off of a third-story balcony by her current boyfriend or current ex-boyfriend. I, I, I don't remember that part of the story. But Wendy, here goes Wendy talking about she died, talking about come on down. And looking on a very bad joke. Very bad joke. I know you were trying to crack a joke, Wendy, but it was way too soon. Like, you are not a comedian, Wendy. You need to leave the jokes to your homegirl, Lunell, who is a comedian. You keep putting your foot in your mouth. You keep saying trash things. You keep getting dragged all over the internet. And then you want to come back and apologize. I'm sure you probably got a new apology up on Instagram today. I'm sure you do. I haven't seen it yet. If not today, tomorrow. Or maybe you just said, fuck it. You said what you said. I don't know. But please stop telling the jokes. Please let Suzanne, Norman, somebody look at your talking points before you get up there just running off at the mouth. Because eventually, sponsors are going to pull out. People are really going to drag and call, come for you and want you to be canceled. And I, I appreciate your show. Your show is entertaining to me. I record it every day and I watch it. But you have to watch your mouth. Stop it with the jokes. Like, please, stop it. It's nothing else to say. Just stop it. And you deserve all the dragons you get. All the dragons you're getting today, you deserve. I, I'm liking them all. I'm like, I'm hitting like on everything because you have to stop. All right, y'all. I'm about. Let me go get in this gym. Go change. Put on my swimming suit and get this workout done today is the day at work i really don't i don't I, I usually try to go to the gym after work about three days a week but today is the day it's raining can y'all see it is raining outside i just i want to go home eat my leftovers and make a couple of videos i know i still owe y'all family and fiance i still owe y'all jocelyn's cabaret i have the notes i probably will do those videos after aquafit and I got episode four of Love is Blind. Are y'all watching Love is Blind? That show was good. In episode four, it was a good old made Angie pissed off episode. So, you know, I got a good review for episode four. All right, y'all. Y'all have a good workout and evening, too. Talk to y'all later. Bye.